Hey everyone, Desiree here. So in this video, I'm gonna do a favorites. I haven't done one of these in a long time and I actually had someone reach out to me and ask me what have I been loving lately. So I thought because we're at the beginning of March, this would be a great time to share with you the things I have been loving in February or that I did love in February. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. You probably are not surprised <laughs> to see my planner stack here, but I have been loving my planners ever since the new year started, but especially in February because I think I finally got things figured out and streamlined and working in a way that works for me. So I have done videos on all of these planners. No nothing here is new. Um, and a lot of this stuff is... Uh, pretty much ongoing as far as you know what I'm using how I'm using it and how it's helping me stay on track and stay focused so uh, at the top you can see I have my May designs travelers notebook love that in February I use this mostly at home I don't take this with me outside the house but it's been working as a goal tracker and for notes Next, uh, you all know that I have my Mystics Little Gifts, and I keep my Erin Condren Petite Planners in here. I have been using this since the new year. It's working out beautifully. I have no complaints, and this is also my everyday carry. So um, it is kind of big and kind of heavy, but considering the trade-off of how well it's working, I'm willing to go ahead and make the sacrifice. Then I have my Erin Condren Hardbound Planner. This has been a, this has been my, uh, I guess, business slash side hustle uh, work from home planner. I really love it. I actually love this so much that I'm thinking about maybe using one of these in 2020 as my main everyday home planner. Uh, we'll see how it goes throughout the year, but I'm really, really loving this, and I loved using it in February. And then, of course, I still have my two big happy planners that I use for everyday home stuff. And then this one is my wellness planner that I kind of use as kind of a journal, kind of a uh, mental health check-in, and also health related things all go in here because I don't want to clutter up my main home planner here. So that's what I had going on for the month of February. It's been working out fabulous. All of these things are my favorites. And of course, I love sharing them <laughs> with all of you. Now continuing on in the planner favorites, I discovered a new sticker shop on Etsy strictly by accident. Um, I don't think this is a new shop per se, but it is a new to me sticker shop. Now it's called a uh, Cricut Paper Co. and I hope this is focusing. And she has some really, really cute, colorful, vibrant stickers. Now for those of you that don't know, I plan on going to go wild this year and it is being held here in Las Vegas where I live so I was just kind of looking at Las Vegas stickers on Etsy and I stumbled across this shop and I absolutely love her designs and I love her sticker paper now if you're like me and if you like um, matte vinyl sticker paper you will love her stickers now the only thing about this particular um, sticker sheet is that you do have to use a permanent I guess marker to write on these stickers <clears throat> excuse me which I don't have a problem with but I know some people don't like that but I really love it because I just love the vibrancy and the way the stickers feel when you use them so I did buy a couple of um, kits from her I bought this one and then this one I actually have already used this one was the uh, Chinese New Year, uh, Year of the Pig, and again, I've already used these, so I don't have all of the stickers to show you, but look at how vibrant and pretty these are. Look at that dragon. So um, when I do my flip through, 
of my hardbound planner, I'll show you where I use these in, in a uh, weekly layout. And again, these stickers are just beautiful. And they're so fun. And like I said, I'm really picky about the sticker paper because I love uh, matte vinyl stickers. So this was a new discovery for me in February. I will link the shop down below in case you are interested. Now some more planner. Well, I guess it's not really planner related, but it's kind of like paper and craft related. I was in Hobby Lobby a couple weeks ago when I was looking for uh, some of the new Happy Planner sticker books. Of course, I didn't find them. But what I did find was now this is new to me. I didn't know Hobby Lobby sold um, self-adhesive vinyl paper or sticker sheets. Now I picked these up when they had all of their paper goods were 50% off. So, or I think everything by Paper Studio was 50% off. I can't remember. But anyway, uh, they have quite a few designs. I didn't like all the designs I really like this galaxy print and then I liked the mermaid scales print but how fun is this going to be to use in your planner or actually anywhere in your journal on your um, insert covers or whatever let me go ahead and pull this out now I have been kind of playing around with, with these, and so I'll show you exactly how I'm using, using it in another video, if I can get this open. <clears throat> so, you can see it's kind of a, a glossy sticker paper, and then this is the back here. Now I'm not sure if you could use these in a Cricut or a Silhouette because I don't have one, but um, I plan on using these in my planner and I just thought, wow, this is going to be so much fun because the ideas are just endless. Now I bought um, some other ones which I've already used again. I will show you those in a different video like exactly how I use it, but I just wanted to share this with you because this has been one of my favorite finds or it was one of my favorite finds in February. So if you're at Hobby Lobby, if you go in the section where they have the, um, I guess, Cricut paper or, you know, the, the supplies for like the Cricut and the Silhouette, that's where I found these. I did not find these in the regular paper section or the sticker section. It was in that section where they have the Cricut and the Silhouette supplies. Okay, and I think that is it. Oh, no, I have one more thing to share that's kind of planner and artsy related. Now, it's not this little baggie here, but it's what's inside. I have been having a lot of fun with these. I think they're called tempera, tempera paint sticks. I hope I'm saying that right. Tem tempera. Uh, anyways, <laughs> they're a lot of fun. They're kind of like... Um, I want to say like those gelato pens if you are into uh, doing like art journaling and um, using some of those gelato I guess pen pen or paint sticks that's what these remind me of they do go on really creamy kind of like a crayon but then when it dries it dries like actual paint on on the paper and the nice thing is, is that they don't, um, at least in my experience, it has not, you know, bled through the paper or anything like that. But I will also show you in a different video how I'm using these in my planner. Now, I just bought this generic set from Michaels. It was $10. And you get all of these colors. And I thought that was a really good deal. So I didn't count how many exactly, but I've been having a lot of fun. You know, I don't really do the art journaling thing, but I do like to um, color my pages in my planner and, you know, make them really bright and vibrant and fun. So 
that is something I also picked up in February and I've been playing around with. Now I know there's lots of different ways you can use these if you go on YouTube and just put in um, tempera paint sticks or tempera paint markers I think. You can see a lot of videos. That's how I learned basically how to use them. And I think that is it for my planner and paper related items. The next favorite I want to share with you from February and I have to give credit where credit is due for my girl Kristen because she is the one that turned me on to these products. These are the Maskology, um, I guess, skincare products. And I bought quite a few things in the line, but these two are my absolute favorite. The 24 karat gold toner and the 24 karat gold serum. I have been using these every day since I bought them uh, last month and I absolutely love them. I also bought the facial cleanser, the eye cream, and I think the facial oil, but I don't like those as much as I like these two. Now the nice thing about this is that it seems to work really well with pretty much any cleanser you use. Now this is a thicker toner, so just be aware of that. It's not, you know, real liquidy, so when 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 you pour it out, it doesn't come, you know, come out really quickly onto your cotton pad, but it does drip out. And it works really really well. You don't need a lot of it. And I really like the way it makes my skin feel. So what I've been doing is I've been cleansing with my uh, normal cleanser. And then I do my toner. I use this, you know, after I cleanse. And then before I go to bed, I use the 24 karat gold serum, also by Maskology. And I really love this. You know, this is um, actually a new discovery for me. I had never heard of this line until I saw, I saw uh, Kristen's. I think she shared it on one of her Insta stories. I will link her um, Instagram down below in case you're not already following her. But I really do love these products. So here's what the serum looks like. It's not too heavy and it doesn't have a really strong scent which is something I like. I, I like unscented uh, face products because I don't, I'm really sensitive to fragrance. So um, these two have really been working for me and I absolutely love them. And I think the final thing I have to share with you is a tea I have been loving. Uh, this is the Newman's Own Chai or Newman's Own Organics Chai Black Tea. As you can see, I've, this is my third box. <laughs> that uh, I have gone through of this. If you really like chai tea, I really uh, think you should try this one. I found this at, I think I found this at Smith's, which is um, similar to a Kroger if you're on the East Coast. But it's really delicious, and what I like about it, about it is that it's a very um, strong tea, because I like my tea really strong. So. Um, usually I would use two tea bags in one cup, but because this is a pretty strong tea, I only needed one tea bag. And then I just add, you know, my non-dairy creamer. I have like either an almond milk or soy milk creamer that I use with it, and it tastes absolutely delicious. Now it's not as good as a Starbucks chai tea latte, but it's pretty darn close. And you know, for the price, I think I think I paid three ninety nine for this, and you get twenty. 20 tea bags. And I think that is it for this episode <laughs> of favorites for planner and lifestyle favorites. Um, like I said, I know I haven't been doing these in a while, but it's kind of nice to uh, get back into it and talk about some of the things that I've been loving and using. So what about you? What have been some of your favorite things throughout the month? Uh, I guess either February, January, or whenever the year started. Uh, these are some things I've been loving on, and I'd love to hear some things that you guys have been loving on. So um, that's going to be it for this video. If you have any questions about anything, feel free to drop those down in the comments below. And if you're not subscribed, please make sure you do so, because I do have a lot more videos to come. 
All right, everyone. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.